Hi! Welcome to DP Handmaids. My name is Danielle and today we're going to combine two things that I really enjoy. Christmas and Disney or Mickey Mouse. <laughs> When my husband and I used to live in Florida, we used to go to Disney Springs and visit their tree trail. That was one of my favorite things to do because they would have a whole bunch of Christmas trees that had different themes. I think one of my favorites was the Haunted Mansion Christmas tree. That one always stood out to me. They had Disney princesses like Mulan, Frozen, and Pixar, like Toy Story, and Monsters, Inc. It was just so fun. So many so many trees. <laughs> I'm very shocked that I never just crocheted myself Disney ornaments, so I figured I would walk down memory lane, take you guys with me, and we'd be able to crochet some really cute Mickey Mouse Christmas ornaments. I think this is really cute. It's beginner friendly, and I'm going to show you how to make it today. So join me as we spread some holiday cheer and crochet our very own Disney or Mickey Mouse Christmas ornaments. Here are the materials to make your very own Mickey Mouse Christmas ornament. You're gonna need four weight yarn in the colors red, black, and yellow. Now I used mercerized cotton, so you can use brands like 24-7, Cotton by Lion brand, or Hobby Lobby's Yarn Bee Fundamental Cotton. You need a 3.25 millimeter crochet hook or a decrochet hook, a stitch marker, some handy dandy scissors, an embroidery or tapestry needle, and some polyester filling. Now let's go ahead and get started. Grab your black yarn and we're going to start by doing a magic circle, which is chain two, and then do six single crochets into the second chain from the hook. and I am going to use the yarn under method for tighter stitches. Once you have six stitches, we're going to use the join method, which means I'm going to do a slip stitch into the first stitch and then chain one. Because we're using the join method, we're not going to need our stitch markers right now. Round number two, going to put an increasing single crochet into the first stitch. And then we're going to do increasing single crochets five more times all the way around for a total of 12 stitches. And then make sure to do a slip stitch into the first stitch and then chain one. Round number three, we're going to do a single crochet into the first stitch, followed by an increasing single crochet into the second stitch. And make sure to repeat the sequence of single crochet followed by an increasing single crochet five more times all the way around, and then do a slip stitch into the first stitch here. Make sure that you have a total of 18 stitches all the way around. Round number four, we're gonna do a single crochet into the first stitch, followed by an increasing single crochet. Make sure to repeat the sequence of two single crochets followed by an increasing single crochet. Make sure to repeat this four more times all the way around until you have one stitch left where you will do one single crochet, followed by a slip stitch into the first stitch and then chain one. Make sure that you have a total of 24 stitches all the way around. Round number five, we're gonna do single crochets in each stitch all the way around for a total of 24 stitches. And then make sure to do a slip stitch into the first stitch, followed by a chain one. Round number six, we're gonna do a single crochet into the first stitch, followed by two more single crochets. And then an increasing single crochet. Repeat the following sequence of three single crochets followed by 
and increasing single crochet five more times all the way around for a total of 30 stitches and then make sure to do a slip stitch followed by chain one. Round seven and eight, we're going to do single crochets in each stitch all the way around for a total of 30 stitches. And then make sure to do a slip stitch into the first stitch followed by a chain one. Now we're gonna do our first color change from the black to the red. Before we finish off our last single crochet of the round, we're going to put the red slip knot on our hook and pull through the black loops and then do a slip stitch into the first stitch and chain one. Make sure everything is nice and tight. From rounds nine to 11, we're gonna do single crochets in each stitch all the way around for a total of 30 stitches. We're not gonna need the black yarn anymore, so go ahead and cut a short tail, and we're just gonna go ahead and tie this off and leave it on the inside of our work. Round number 12, we're gonna do a single crochet into the first stitch, followed by two more single crochets, and then a decreasing single crochet. Make sure to repeat the sequence of three single crochets followed by a decreasing single crochet five more times all the way around for a total of 24 stitches. Make sure to do a slip stitch into the first stitch followed by a chain one. Round number 13, we're gonna do a single crochet in each stitch all the way around for a total of 24 stitches. And then make sure to do a slip stitch into the first stitch followed by chain one. Round 14, we're gonna do single crochet followed by a decreasing single crochet. Repeat the sequence of two single crochets followed by a decreasing single crochet. Repeat that four more times all the way around until you have one stitch left where you will do one single crochet followed by a slip stitch into the first stitch and then chain one. Make sure you have a total of 18 stitches all the way around. Go ahead and start stuffing your ornament. Round number 15, we're gonna do a single crochet into the first stitch, followed by a decreasing single crochet. Make sure to repeat the sequence of single crochet followed by a decreasing single crochet five more times all the way around for a total of 12 stitches, then do a slip stitch into the first stitch followed by chain one. Round number 16, we're going to repeat the sequence of decreasing single crochets all the way around for a total of six stitches, and then do a slip stitch into the first stitch. Cut a longish tail. Grab your embroidery or tapestry needle. So we're gonna close up our hole. How I like to close up my holes is I ignore the first, third, and fifth stitches, and I work in the back loops only. I take my needle, I sew inward in the second stitch, and then I come out of the fourth stitch and I pull it almost all the way. I sew in the sixth stitch. And then I pull. That's how you close your hole. Right, nice. So this is what your ornament should look like so far. Just a ball <laughs> that is black and red. How exciting, I know. <laughs> the next step will be to make the ears. So let's go ahead and make the ears. <laughs> Grab our black yarn. We're going to do chain two and do six single crochets into the second chain from the hook, also known as a magic circle. And this time when making the ears, we're actually going to use continuous rounds. So make sure to have a stitch marker nearby. Once you have six stitches, put your stitch marker in the last stitch 
round number two, we're gonna do increasing single crochets in each stitch all the way around for a total of 12 stitches. And again, we're not doing the join method, so make sure to place your stitch marker in the last stitch of the round. Round number three, we're gonna repeat the sequence of three single crochets followed by an increasing single crochet. Make sure to repeat that two more times all the way around for a total of 15 stitches. And then remember to place your stitch marker into the last stitch of your round. Rounds four and five, we're gonna do single crochets all the way around for a total of 15 stitches. Round number six, repeat the sequence of three single crochets followed by a decreasing single crochet. Make sure to repeat that two more times all the way around for a total of 12 stitches. Go ahead and take out your stitch marker, fold your ear in half, and we're gonna crochet through both sides of the ear. Now we're going to try to line up the stitches here. We're going to do a decreasing slip stitch. Yep, in the first two stitches, and then pull through those two loops, and then we're gonna do a regular old slip stitch. And then do a decreasing slip stitch again. And then we're going to cut a long tail for sewing. make two ears. All right, so now I'm going to sew on the ears. I'm going to leave the seam in the back. Maybe do this perpendicular to the little seam here. Here's the seam and here's the line which I'm gonna kind of follow and put my ears on. Make sure to put the top of the ear between rounds three and four. We're gonna put the bottom part of the ear between rounds seven and eight. Once you sew the right part and the left part, I'm going to sew the middle stitch to the head and I'm gonna do it one row behind. So then it gives this little curvature to the ear. Tie off and weave in your ends. Wow, I think that's even better than what I did before. I like this so much better. Okay, so we have this is so much better than my first draft. Seriously. Oh my gosh. I love how the ears turned out. Now that these are bad, but I think I prefer these a lot more. So our last and final step is to do the yellow buttons. Grab your yellow yarn. We're going to have a little bit of a longer tail for your slip knot. Step one is going to be doing a chain four and we're gonna be crocheting on both sides of our chain. We're going to do a single crochet in the second chain from the hook, along with another single crochet, and then an increasing single crochet into the last chain. And then turn, single crochet, and then another single crochet, and then we're going to do a slip stitch into the first stitch. Make sure to cut a long tail for sewing, about 12 to 18 inches. Make two buttons. Always make sure that you like the placement of things before you sew them on. Now it's time to sew them on.
Okay guys, so we did it. We completed our really, really cute Mickey Mouse Christmas ornament. I absolutely love this one over my original design. I think I just had the ears a little bit too upright. I'm absolutely obsessed with the one that we just made. And all that is left to do is put your leftover yarn you have or cut a eight to 12 inch piece of yarn and thread it through between rounds one and two in between the ears in the middle. So it hangs upright and straight. And that is how you can make it into an ornament or you can put a keychain ring on it as well. I was trying to hang it from my glasses. I don't, it kind of works. <laughs> it's like one of those silly thoughts you have in your head and you're like, yeah, let's try it. <laughs> this is what happens when you listen to your silly thoughts. You hang ornaments off of your glasses. Anyway. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining me today in making our very own Mickey Mouse Christmas ornament. If you really like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you really loved my yarny shenanigans as we made this Christmas ornament, go ahead and click subscribe and click on the bell for notifications. And until next time, stay safe, happy, and healthy, and have a wonderful day, and happy holidays! Bye!